All right, an Edgar Allan Poe biopic. It's kind of, it's not, it's not at all. The Raven. All right, so The Raven stars John Cusack, who plays Edgar Allan Poe. You know who Edgar Allan Poe is, you know, Telltale Heart, Pit in a Pendulum, Gruesome Deaths, a master of horror of the 1800s. And in the movie The Raven, there's a killer out there who's killing people in the fashion of how people get killed in the Edgar Allan Poe books, or at least how they die. So yeah, you know those movies out there where people are like, oh, author, people are dying, and people are getting murdered exactly how they do in your novels. Come help us, you have insight, we'll solve the crime together. It's like that, only now they're finally doing it with Edgar Allan Poe. Poe. We gotta think, was it really necessary? You're ultimately putting Edgar Allan Poe in a cliche movie at that point. I almost want to cry one for the past and weep for the future. Alright, first of all, we'll touch on the acting in this movie. The acting's never great, it just goes from okay to terrible. You can flip a coin or roll the dice to see where it lands, but ultimately it's gonna land on one of those two things. John Cusack's kinda become like Nick Cage at this point. It's like, ah, he's in a movie, is it gonna be good? I don't know. Brendan Gleeson's in it. You know, Mad-Eye Moody? He's always cool in movies. But he hates Edgar Allan Poe so much, he's like, I hate him, I'll kill him. Then at a point, he's like, hey man, we're pals now. It just kind of happens. They're like, oh, I guess they're cool. All right, well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad they mented ways. Apparently off camera, because I didn't see it. They went from hating each other to being completely cool. Then you got the chick from She's Out of My League, which she's really hot. She was certainly out of J... Baruch, um, his league in that movie and she's certainly out of Edgar Allan Poe's league in this movie. Like there's this one scene where she's like, her life's on the line. She's in dire fear. And the psycho dude tells her something like, shut up and she's just like, Okay. And everyone in the theater laughed. And I was just like, I wanted to laugh, but I was like, I don't think I should laugh. I think they meant for that to actually be frightening. It wasn't. I mean, we look at it, we have a movie that's overacted or underacted, full of characters you don't care about, full of suspense that's not there, full of fear that's not there. So what do you really have? You have the gimmick of Edgar Allan Poe and his stories being in a murder mystery. A really light murder mystery. That really doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of this movie, you end up just thinking, I, that would have been cool to see an Edgar Allan Poe biopic. That would be interesting. Instead, we have this weird movie. Sorry, director of V for Vendetta. I like V for Vendetta. I enjoyed Ninja Assassin for what it was. But as for The Raven, it's okay, but you're not gonna remember it in T minus two hours. Yep, already forgot. Well, I watched this movie again as before. Quote The Raven. Nevermore. Yeah, that was good. I like that. So your favorite murder mystery of all time. What is it? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.